Thank you for watching. We just got up here at camp. It was a cold night, very windy. Very cold. Very cold. Much better today. It's sunny, the wind has stopped, and uh, it should be a better day. Uh, but before we do anything, we better check in with the hippie and see what the weather's gonna be like. Hey, you groovy dudes and you slap heavy hippies. This is the hippie, and I'm here to give you the weather. Here we go. I don't see no clouds, it's nice and clear, and cold, very cold. It's so cold that we had to chip the smoke off the chimney. <laughs> There's a dog stuck to a fire hydrant down the road here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's cold. I almost broke a tooth on my honey. I'm gonna go sit next to the fire and stay warm. Toodaloo. Thank you, Hippie. Always a riveting weather report. Uh, today we're going to go out and get breakfast up in Littleton. And while we're there, we're gonna see if we can stop by a uh, friend's place. He has a shop, him and uh, Nick and Ayla. They have a rock and gem shop. So we're gonna go up and check it out. So no more dilly-dallying, let's go. We got our breakfast. What do you got? Voila. Look at that hash. World famous corned beef hash. Scrambles and toasts. All from the Littleton Diner. I'm going over easy. We're over here sitting. We're going to have breakfast. Here at the Northeast Prospector Rock and Gem Shop. Let's go in and say hello to Nick. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Nick. How are you nice doing? Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, nice finally. Nice to meet you. This is Ayla. Hi, everybody. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Great to meet you. Yay, totally. Welcome. And uh, this is your rock shop, the Northeast Prospector, up here in Littleton. And uh, we'll show you some stuff around here. How long have you had the shop? We've been here about four years now. Uh, funny thing is we started in the basement here, just in the basement. There was a juice bar upstairs. And uh, after about a couple months, 
the juice bar was done and we decided to move upstairs and we've been up here rocking it ever since. Yeah, and you also nice. have live shows. Yeah, we do a live feed every Friday night on Facebook at Northeast Prospector. And then on Sundays, I also do a specimen live feed uh, around two o'clock on Sunday afternoons. That's great. Yeah. That's really well, great. Showing off all of our new stuff. Yeah, I see you got a lot of great stuff in here. Can you show us around? Show us what you have? Sure, yeah. If you guys want to look over here, we've got a few things from New Hampshire. Also, Ale on that back counter. I put out a couple of larger specimens that we can show them. Um, we have stuff from all over New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont, and then all over the world as well. Um, nice. We like to consider ourselves prospectors. It's like all oh, these are just miniatures that we have locally. Wow. And Ava can bring out a few specimens here some larger specimens and that's all local stuff um, all of our quartz down here too our friend jim douglas hit a large pocket of all these quartz crystals last year you can see on that second shelf yeah. um, they are all very beautiful yeah and it looks like he's got a few pieces they call it the white whale pocket that was the white whale pocket yep that's wow. what he named it wow yeah beautiful stuff all from new hampshire this one here's a specimen I dug a few years ago in Stratford, New Hampshire. Wow. It's a beautiful smoky quartz that came out of a pocket that was the size of a Volkswagen. Wow. It was massive. Uh, this is another piece here. This one's from Bartlett, New Hampshire. Oh, Bartlett. And that was a large smoky quartz. This one was pulled out. Gosh, I was probably young. This is from an older collection, so this is probably pulled out in the 90s, maybe. I didn't even know they had pieces of quartz wow. that big in New Hampshire. Oh my gosh, the biggest quartz crystal found here was 290 something wow. pounds. Wow. So there's that, and then also that's one of our state minerals. Oh. And then also, this is a barrel crystal. This is from the Chandler Quarry over in Chatham, and this is our other state mineral. Wow. And uh, the, that has the, a nice bluish. Yeah, the gem variety of this would be aquamarine. And then also, we have a claim in New York, upstate New York, where we did Herkimer Diamonds. And here's a large specimen I pulled out at Soul Family Farm last year. Uh, a different mine, this is from Mohawk Valley, but this is another Herkimer Diamond. Is it then Massachusetts? No, it's Mohawk Valley in, in New York. York. Yeah, yeah, New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's in Sprackers, New York, right? Oh, wow, that's Just huge. Just outside of uh, Herkimer County, I believe. So the, the mine, yeah, exactly, Sprackers, Mohawk Valley Mineral Mining. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And we have stuff from all over the world. We also have fossils here. I mean, we try to keep a good variety of stuff. We have local mm -hmm. jewelers that make jewelry for us. We have people that do art with the stones. Now, this this stuff here, this is called um, unicorn poop. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> That's silicon carbide or carborundum. So this is the stuff. This is a byproduct of the material that they make carbide tips with. Really? And different types of carbide uh, products. Yeah, colorful. Isn't that something, huh? And this crystallizes beautifully, and you actually get beautiful, like crystal clusters. Got uh, it. Oh, wow. This one here is, was found off the coast of North Carolina. And if you see here, this is the size of the megalodon mouth. And they had three rows of these teeth, and they were always losing that third row. They were always falling out, and that's how we, these guys were the apex mm -hmm. yeah. for a long time. So there's a lot of the teeth, and some come like this. They polish some. Uh, they'll fix them and repair them. They go into museums that way. Mm -hmm. And typically, if you have a tooth over five inches, that's a that's a real keeper. You want to make sure you hold on to those oh, wow. ones. Uh, this one is 5.4 inches, so this one's almost five and a half inches. Wow. Nice. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. <laughs> So this is a miner guy, and he's mining some fluorite. And if we put the black light towards it, you guys will see oh, it. Oh, wow. It'll fluoresce a, an electric yeah. blue. Yeah. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then we've got a couple of Herkimer diamonds here for you. Oh, wow. Here's a smaller one, and there's the big brother. Wow. Look at that. And we'll send oh. you guys away with those as well. Look at thank that. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Yes. Totally. And then we try to carry a little bit of gold stuff. I do have like the pans and stuff like that. So if people I was come in. I going to ask you about that. We'll get a little section going here a little bit better. You know, like I said, I've always had pans on hand. So if people are coming through and just want to go try the river yeah. out and they need a cheap pan, come on in and see me and I'll take care of you. And then awesome. I always have a couple of sluice boxes available if somebody is mm -hmm. getting into it and wants to go out and give it a try. Perfect. Well, that's great. Yeah. 
Yes. Well, definitely if you're in Laconia, uh, not Laconia, Littleton, <laughs> definitely check it out, Northeast Prospect, to come in, say hello, and uh, there's a lot of stuff in here, a lot of beautiful stuff. So definitely check them out. Also on Facebook, uh, Northeast Prospect are on yep. Facebook as well. They have a live show and they sell their crystals on there Thursday or Friday? Friday nights typically at 7 o'clock we do a live feed and then again on Sundays at 2 p.m. I do a specimen feed. So Friday nights is a mix between pretty and polished stuff and specimens and then Sunday is just me hanging out, nerding out, talking about minerals. Well, nice. thank you very much for showing us around. Thank you so much for stopping in, guys. It was so good to meet you. Thank you. Hello. We just came back. We, we're here at the house, but we want to tell you about the Northeast Prospector. Uh, it was a great place there, and he gave us some things to give away. This Herkimer Diamond. Look at that. I'll give you a better close-up of it. And where's that from? That's from New York, right? Yep. John. Johnsville, St. Johnsville, New York. And uh, we're gonna give that away. The secret word is Northeast Prospector. So use that in the comments down below. And next week, we're gonna give it away. <laughs>just got back to the camp now we gotta uh, get a fire going clean out the fireplace and set up camp around here and we got some pay dirt to do we got pay dirt we got pay dirt tent having a nice coffee and we're gonna do a pay dirt today let me show you what we have Tom has a banana that's my crumpet that's his crumpet today and we got some nice coffee going and we got some gold from the Bering Sea from Emily Rydell from the Eroica she sent us a couple stickers. We have this one already on our cooler from the last time. And here it is. Right there. Looks like real fine stuff. So we'll see. We should also point out that they've recently lowered their pricing to be more competitive for the gold. Oh, yeah? So, I didn't know that. Yep. Yeah. You might want to check out their pay dirt. All right. Here we have it. We're going to uh, open this up. And we're going to run it through the kitchen strainer. But this is the actual pay dirt that they mine on the Eroica. Emily, Emily Rydell and her crew. 
painter, it's a great way to support um, the people that you like to watch on yeah. TV and YouTube. Yeah. And um, plus you get something back from it. You're getting gold. Yeah. And you're supporting that channel and what they're getting out of the rivers and ocean. Let's see what we got. Is that all gold? Huh. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that size. Look at all those nice flakes. Some great shapes to those. Look at that one right there. That's a picker. Yeah. That one's thick. It's like a rounded... All right, that's what we got out of the bigs. Nice. Look at that one right there. Big guy. Yeah. And the shapes are great. There I got to get go. my snuffer. And this snuffer bottle has such a small hose on it, a small straw, I can't get anything up the end of it. I'm not big on those snuffers. I prefer the one with the thicker tube. Yeah. The kind that we sell on the hippie.com. We only sell the one with the thicker tube in it. I don't know where we got this one, but you see, it doesn't fit anything. None of these are going to fit. I'm going to have to put them in by hand. That's a good problem to have. None of the gold fits up your tube. <laughs> Makes an easy job a hard job when you don't have a good snuffer. You know you can get a good snuffer at our place. And they're hard to find, too, because... Yeah, that specific kind the, with the, the big tube. specific tool. kind, yeah. Gotta dry your finger. Touch it. Drop it in. Dry your finger. Touch it. Drop it in. Dry your finger. Drop them in. That's what you do when you don't have a a decent snuffer bottle. Where'd you learn that trick? Rosie. Oh, the famous Rosie from <laughs> Who's Can You Rock and Gift Shop. <laughs> Rosie knows her stuff. You have one of these snuffers with a small straw, you can still get them in there. Those were the bigs. I shouldn't have a problem with the littles. I'm using my spinach tortilla pan. You see, it's real flimsy, but it works. Now, this I gotta take real easy. A little bit at a time. You shake it all down so that gold goes down the bottom. And then you just wash off a little bit of the top at a time. I also wanted to mention it was quite a fun day going up to see Nick and Ayla up in Littleton, New Hampshire at Nick's shop, the Northeast Prospector. They got some great stuff in there. Amazing. So much yeah. local stuff and this stuff from all over as well. Yeah, real fan. The Megalodon teeth. Are yeah, that sticks you don't out. don't see too often. Yeah, real yeah. interesting, fun place to check out. And you don't see the rock and gem shops anymore like you used to. When I was growing up, there was one in every corner up yeah. here. And now there's just none. That's the only one I even know of in this area. So it's great to get up and support places like that where there's not too many of them left. And if you're up in the area and you need a gold pan, you can get one yep. right there. I think they have a sluice box there too. And uh, mm -hmm. they may have our pay dirt there. Yeah, we're definitely going to get them some pay dirt. Hippie.com pay dirt for the summer. And right next door, Ayla is uh, Nick's wife or girlfriend i'm not sure it's his girlfriend his girlfriend and ayla's mother owns the shop right next door ayla kai's 
broom closet, I think it's called. Yeah. It was closed today. Um, it's closed, I think, Monday and Tuesday, but I think we're going to try to maybe get in there on Wednesday because that's a groovy-looking hippie show. We, we peeked in the windows. <laughs> There's a lot of interesting stuff in there to look at. Some type of hippie shop. I mean, it's quite a variety shop. So if you do come up to Littleton, New Hampshire, you got those two shops here side by side. Yeah. And then you can go right across the street to the Littleton Diner. Yeah, Littleton is just a great little town. Just the shopping and the feel of it. it I, I just love Littleton. Yeah. Just to walk around downtown. It's a true old-fashioned New England town, which are almost obsolete now. Yeah. All the big chain stores, you know, have come in and all the little towns are gone, but not up here. It's thriving. We've been known to stroll down, uh, strut our stuff down Main Street over there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> A real interesting place. All right, let's see. I'm going to wash this back, see if I have any luck. I worked it down. I could work it down more, but we'll see. Now oh, there's some real fine Very sand fine. in there. Yeah. It took me about 20 minutes just to get this down to this point. I went real slow because you have to with this. This is a little off topic from this, but I heard a rumor that Carl Miller sluice boxes are going to be sold up at Coos Canyon in the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift Shop. Yeah. Did you I, hear that rumor too? I heard that rumor. Yeah, that would be pretty good for local people that are looking for... And get a dream mat. A nice there. dream mat sluice, yeah. So congratulations, Carl, on that. That's awesome. Oh, I'm seeing a nice pile of gold yeah, there. Yeah, you see it coming out? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to suck all this up and do it again because you can see there's a lot of gold in there. Oh, I'll get that. Yeah, sock it up. Don't want to lose that piece. I don't want to suck all this up. I don't have any jet dry in this water. Oh, I didn't see anything floating. Now, if you don't have jet dry, Warm your water. I put left my water near the wood stove. Warmer water has less surface tension than colder water. So there's a tip. Couldn't you put a drop of dish soap too? I didn't in this. No, but if you don't have jet dry, you could use you dish could soap. You could use just a little dish soap. Because most people have dish soap. You just got to watch out for some dish soaps have essential oils in it, and that'll just create more surface tension. But I think I did pretty good there with that. So we're going to leave, dump all that in there. And then we're going to dump it out and see what we got. That is a nice pile of gold right there. Yeah. Call that good right there. Looks pretty good. All right, I gotta clean it up. I'm gonna wash it right into that pan. Like that. Look at that. Nice. There's some nice chunky pieces in here. Yeah, I'm happy with what I see. All right, I'm gonna put that on the stove and we'll dry that up. Yep. All right, it's time for your favorite part, the food. We wanted something different that would be good for camping. And we came across something we're going to show you right here. It's all right in this bag. Now, some people may laugh. I laughed. <laughs> but we're going to try it out because that's what we do. We're going to try it and then we'll tell you whether it's good or garbage. And... If you're from Philadelphia, you might want to turn away because these are Beef Philly Cheese Steak Kit. Look at that. 
Philly cheesesteak kit. Wow. So let's take a look here. We we're looking for something quick and easy, but we'll see how they taste. If they don't taste good, then quick and easy isn't too good. We've got onions. It was frozen, and you can leave these frozen. I was reading the directions, and you can leave it frozen, and when you're ready, there I drop it goes. the cheese. Bag of cheese. We got rolls. It's been in our cooler for a couple days, so. And we got the beef. Is the beef still frozen? Mm, well, it's, some of it is, and some of it isn't. How about the rolls? The rolls are not frozen anymore, but they're real cold, so. The first thing we're going to do is we want nice warm rolls. So you get enough to make four sandwiches, it looks like. We're going to take these rolls and we're going to put them in here. And we're going to put them on the stove and just warm them. So we have nice warm rolls. Look at that. Individually packaged. Beef. Steak subs in a in a bag. We'll chop that up. We'll get this going. We've got a little bit of seasoning we're gonna put on this too. We'll be back once this gets going. Even, even that. Take a look. Oh, it's going good. I think we're ready. It's the time of the season. So far, it smells good. Yeah. We're going to put a little bit of Montreal steak seasoning in there. Just because we like it. And you know, we'll kick it up a notch. And the onions. It comes already in the bag. Cut it open. Dump it in, not the bag, just the onions. Keep it in the pan. Keep it all in the pan. It's bear season up here right now. They're all waking up and they're looking for food, so. I hear a car going by. Yeah, you don't hear too many. Perfect, a lot. Okay, we're gonna cook that and dry that up. And we'll be back. Perfect time to add, yes, a little drizzle of honey. Dip the honey. Take this. There's my big heap and helping. And we're going to put it in there. Good large teaspoon, like that. And then we get it down to the bottom, like that. Go ahead. Mmm. These sisters do a good job. Hippie doesn't make the honey, he's a drone. They don't do nothing. Make sure those are even, I'm hungry. How did I do? <laughs> they look pretty good. Now, we got the, they even give you the cheese in the bag. Of course, it's a complete Philly steak and cheese in a bag. I could give you plenty of cheese. Then we're gonna melt that cheese, just like that. There it is. Quite the chicken. Quite Let's see. Warm. The rolls are warm. Pretty sliced. Oh, they are nice and warm. Use this, I guess. Let's see your skills. Having a hard time getting in there. Get my fair share in there. <laughs> Get a little from that Are one. You taking? 
<laughs> taken from the other one. There we go. They look pretty darn good. That's what we're going to do. We're going to bring them over to the table and we'll uh, tell you how they are. Here we are in the corner. Smells really good. They smell great. I'm so, real hungry too. So Let's give it a taste test here. They're actually pretty good. Yeah. My biggest mm. concern with the whole thing was the freshness of the rolls. But these are good. Really good. No complaints. I think it's rolls just... are great. Great tasting. Yeah. So, two thumbs up. Yeah. Four thumbs up. We're going to eat this. We'll be back. I'd like to take this time to thank our members, those who hit that join button. These names you see on the screen are those members, and they are special people. These people help us to continue making these videos. If you'd like to be on this screen, hit that join button and become a member. Thank you. There was no dance today. No. Just got busy. I was tired. I didn't sleep much last night because we were up stalking the fire. It was so windy that it was hard holding the heat in. So we were up a lot. So I'm going to sleep like a rock tonight. And dinner was good. What would you think? I thought they were excellent. I was very skeptical of a steak and cheese in a bag. But I was surprised. It tasted fresh. I'd get them again even, you know, if I wasn't camping to cook them. Yeah. But what's great about those is there's, like, you, know, you don't have to buy a whole package of rolls. It just comes with just what you need yeah. for that, and then it's done. There's no leftovers. Well, there wasn't any leftovers because we <laughs> ate the whole thing. But uh, Just what you need. There's nothing to throw away. Great one camping meal because one skillet, boom. Don't even have to cut the onion. We also checked out uh, Northeast Prospector up in Littleton. Check them out when you're up there in Littleton. Also go to the uh, Facebook page for Northeast Prospector. He has a live show on Friday selling uh, a lot of beautiful stuff that he's got in there. Yeah. Really a great I've collection. been to many of them. I usually go and hang out and check it out. And Yeah. If you see us in there, say hello. They got live music and everything. Yeah. It's like a party. Yeah. He does a good job. He does a really good job with it. Fridays, uh, Northeast Prospector, the Northeast Prospector on Facebook. Yeah. And uh, that's about it. So don't forget to uh, check out the hitbee.com also and get yourself some nice honey. You can make these uh, steak and cheeses with a t touch of honey, which was good, by the way. And uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you can't get enough of us, hit that join button, become a member, and you get uh, the behind the scenes and uh, members only videos. So until next week, peace. peace.